see my right yes okay and okay just click my slide show works yes it works Can you okay. Go to the okay thank you now i will start i'm toru suzuki from riken japan it's a great pleasure for me to introduce our recent research here okay this slide shows the flow of genetic information from dna to protein so-called central dogmas all steps are strictly regulated depending on the cellular context for example signal transduction induced activation of transcription factors contribute to this step moreover epigenetic regulation such as system modification largely affects the presence or the absence of transcription in the second step, various mRNA binding protein regulates the stability of mRNA and initiation of translation. In the last step, protein stability and function are regulated by post transcription regulation modifications such as phosphorylation and ubiquitination. This regulation of these mechanisms are relevant to the development of various human diseases. Our focus is the regulation of mRNA, mainly regulation of mRNA stability. Here we show our interest is regulation of mRNA stability. I, in this slide, I explain biological significance of mRNA abundance regulation here. I don't. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we show the examples of relationship between mRNA regulation and human disease. UPF3B regulates locking. These molecules are involved in mRNA decay and target irregular target mRNA irregular mRNAs or cytokine mRNAs respectively. And functions of these molecules are impaired. Abnormal proteins or inflammatory cytokines are overproduced, resulting in development of neurodegenerative disease or autoimmune diseases. The CCR4 not complex belongs to other types of mRNA decay machineries, which initiates mRNA degradation. Various mutations of the complex molecules are identified in heart disease, T cell acute leukemia or, or several tumors. Similarly, abrogated function of mRNA stabilizing molecules are relevant to disease development. In these neurodegenerative diseases, ataxin 2 loses its ability of stabilizing target mRNA due to elongation of polyglutamine repeat. In hepatocellular carcinoma, excess amount of mRNA Binding protein IMP1 stabilizing molecule is produced and, and resulting in stabilization and overexpression of many tumor related gene products. Therefore, regulation of mRNA stability is vital importance in tissue homeostasis. Okay. And here I explain biological significance of regulation of mRNA abundance here. Transcribed mRNA are uh, used to produce protein following the recruitment of translation initiation complex. mRNA abundances are strictly regulated because protein overproduction affects cellular and tissue homeostasis, for example, by formation of protein aggregates. To maintain proper mRNA abundance, mRNA decay machinery plays a critical role. In the process of mRNA decay, shortening of Shortening of polytail called deadenylation first takes place. Following deadenylation, two different types of exonuclease, namely 5' to 3' prime exonuclease or 3' prime to 5' prime exonuclease, function to completely degrade mRNA. In these mRNA decay processes, cells can maintain adequate mRNA abundance. In the in these mRNA decay processes, the adenylation has a vital importance because this step is a later limiting step and largely 
determine the fate of mRNA. We have been studying about biological function of the c shallow knot complex that largely contributes to the annihilation step in almost all organisms. Okay, here, let me introduce about the c shallow knot complex. C01 is the largest subunit in the complex. Molecular weight is around 260 kilodalton, and this molecule is considered to function as a scatterfold of the complex. All complex subunits associate with C01 and form functional complex. C01 is mainly composed of four domains, and the inner terminal region forms heat repeat containing several alpha helix. This region C0, C0 10 and C0, C0 1 interact with this region, and these regions are in, involved in association, involved in association with target mRNA in the second domain. <coughs> um, in the second domain associate with the DNA delay subunits. So far, four different DNA delays subunits have been identified. C066 and in this DNA delay, C066 and 78 belongs to different RNA family. C078 directly interact with C01 and C066 exist in the complex through the interaction with C07 and 8. This interaction is confirmed by the structural analysis. In one complex, either C07 or C08, either and either C06 or 6A exist in the comp in one complex. The third region interact with C01, and this region is responsible for interaction with RNA binding protein and contribute, contributing to target mRNA se selectivity. The C-terminal region interact with C02 and C03 and forms ternary complex. This region is important for maintaining complex, intact complex formation. <clears throat> so far, we have generated mice lacking each subunit of the complex. Importantly, most of the mouse strains showed lymphatic lethality. And mouse lacking single catalytic subunit, except for C08, hardly affects embryonic development. Probably catalytic subunit basically compensate each other in many cases. And this result suggests that the CGR4 not complex critically functions in mammalian tissue development and function. Okay, today I'd like to introduce our research about the role of the CGR4 not complex in liver development and function. In our initial studies, we found that C03 is an essential component to fun for the function of the c knot complex. Then to the understand the role of the c knot complex, we generated liver-specific C03 knockout mice by expressing clear recombinase under the control of albumin promoter. As you can see this immunoblot, C03 is specifically suppressed in liver. Okay, first we show the phenotypes of liver-specific C03 knockout mice. Liver specific C03 knockout mice are born and both may and, and becomes adult and both females and males are fertile. However, liver specific C03 mice are obviously small as compared to control mice. Liver itself is also small. Okay, this slide shows the result of liver histological analysis of liver. Hematoxin aeogen staining of liver reveals that abnormal morphology of hepatocytes and dysregulated alignment of hepatocytes are observed. Furthermore, we have detected necrosis and increased inflammation and apoptosis. These results suggest that liver does not precisely de develop, develop in the absence of C03. Okay, we also performed biochemical analysis of blood. We detected increase of we detected increase of liver damage parameter um, as shown, you can see here. Furthermore, concentration of total protein, albumin, or free cholesterol 
significantly decrease in CMOS3 knockout river. This result also suggests that the river does not precisely develop in the absence of CMOS3. Because the CCR4 not complex regulate mRNA abundance, we compare gene expression between control and CMOS3 knockout river to understand the relationship between these phenotypes and gene expression. There are many methods to examine kinetics of mRNA transcription and mRNA stability. Several examples are shown here. And these methods are very important and useful, and indeed as used in many, many researches. However, sometimes these methods are very complicated and not applicable to all organisms. Here, to monitor mRNA transcription and stability, we use simple methods, total RNA sequencing. From the result of total RNA sequencing, we can obtain from exon mapping read and intron mapping read. This reflects the uh, level of mRNA expression and uh, premature unsurprised mRNA expression, respectively. Because pre premature mRNA are uh, short lived and rapidly processed process to mRNA, expression of premature mRNA provide a good proxy for transcription. Indeed, several studies show that pre mRNA levels uh, obtained from RNA sequence are clearly correlated with the uh, mRNA transcription. Okay, here we show the results showing comparison of mRNA expression and premature mRNA expression between and compare, compared between control and sinusinocut liver. The number of upregulated mRNA in C03 knockout river was much more than those down regulated. Therefore, in the, these data suggest that sin, many of mRNAs are largely increased in the absence of C03. In pre mRNA expression profile shows similar results. There are genes uh, upregulated on the down regulated. Therefore, in C03 knockout river, both transcription upregulation and down regulation are have been well observed. We also com compared mRNA, pre mRNA premature mRNA ratio to examine the contribution of post-transcription mechanism. This ratio is sometimes used as an indicator of mRNA stability. And the results of that around 3,000 mRNA seems to be stabilized in the absence of C03. Then we compare gene lists in mRNA application and mRNA stabilization. Around, around 2,000 mRNAs shows both mRNA application and stabilization. Products of these mRNA are responsible for cell cycle, mitotic nuclear division, and cell cycle cell division. Detailed process in these gene ontology terms are cell cycle progression, regulation of cell cycle checkpoint, cytokinesis, and chromosome segregation, and so on. Importantly, monoleculin 8 hepatocytes are major in premature liver, and, by, and as liver matured, binuclear 8 hepatocyte increase. These are caused by suppression of mitosis and cytokinesis. We hypothesize that c shahl not complex suppresses meiosis and cytokinesis by suppressing mRNA involved in these processes. Indeed, we found that and the pain C03 will suppress these mRNAs uh, are maintained very high and consequently the increase these mRNA inhibit these process, these maturation processes. And indeed we found that the number of binucleated hepatocytes in sinus knockout liver was much less than control cells. And you can see here. Furthermore, priority spectrum obtained from fax analysis showed that diploid hepatocyte, diploid hepatocyte increase and in viral octaploid hepatocyte decrease. And therefore, this results suggest that in the absence of sinus 3, liver does not mature sufficiently. 
Okay, we perform a quantitative PCR, QP, quantitative PCR analysis and confirmed cell cycle <coughs> related mRNA increase, specifically increases. And uh, we also found that fetal liver specific genes are also stabilized in the absence of C03. Okay, furthermore, we examined the polyethyl length um, because CCR is not complex involved in the attenuation. Therefore, we next compare the length of a polyethyl in several mRNA. And we performed, to compare polyethyl length of mRNA, we performed PCR based analysis as shown here. As you can see, polyethyl length of these genes. Uh, um, significantly increase in CNO3 knockout mice compared with controlled mice. Therefore, these results suggest that mRNA stabilization observed in CNO3 knockout liver was relevant to dysregulation of polyethylene tail shortening. Okay, next we examine the contribution of transcription. Genes show mRNA showing both mRNA upregulation and pre premature mRNA upregulation containing mRNA, those involved in cell cell interaction and inflammatory responses. Therefore, transcriptional upregulation largely contributes to increase of these mRNA involved in these processes. On the other hand, genes show showing both mRNA downregulation and pre-mRNA, premature mRNA downregulation containing mRNA. Those, those products are involved in liver-specific function. Therefore, transcription downregulation of liver function-related mRNA are involved in liver abnormalities. Okay, again, we confirm decrease of liver a decrease of premature mRNA involved in liver function a decrease in the absence of CNO3 by performing QPCR analysis. Okay, this shows the summary. Uh, we obtained information um, several mRNAs are upregulated or downregulated in CNO3 knockout liver. Okay, by I think the result of pre mRNA expression, we obtained the candidate of stabilized mRNA or transcription increased uh, uh, mRNA or transcription decreased mRNA. And quantitative PCR analysis confirmed these mRNA, for example, cell cycle mRNA or fetal liver specific mRNAs are stabilized in the absence of CN3 and mRNAs involved in cell cell interaction and immune response to a transcription increase. Finally, mRNAs in whose uh, products Protein products are involved in liver function or transcription is downregulated. Okay, let me discuss about the role of mRNA decay in liver development. In fetal stages, immature liver specific genes express high. As liver matures, a transcription of mature liver specific mRNA are increased through the transcription activation. Instead, cell cycle related mRNA and, and fetal liver specific mRNA decrease. When mRNA deannihilation is suppressed, down regulation of this mRNA is not enough. Especially persistent expression of cytokinesis promoting gene or cell cycle related gene seems to result in increase of mononucleate hepatocyte, and that means may keep liver immature. Also, we don't know the detailed mechanism yet. Transcription of liver specific mRNA is not enough in the absence of CNO3. Okay, next, uh, we also examine the role of the CCR not complex in mature liver. We, okay, we, I would like to briefly introduce the result. To suppress the CCR not complex, specifically in adult liver, we used tamoxifen inducible system. Following injection of tamoxifen into adult mice, clear recombinase is activated and somatic recombination is specifically induced. 
as you can see here, one of the C-Hadron complex subunits are efficiently reduced in labor. Okay, first we compared poly length of mRNA between control and single one knockout labor. This is a method, and as I explained briefly, total mRNA are extracted and labeled with P32P radioisotope at the three prime end. And the, and the radio isotope labeled mRNA are digested with RNSA and RNST1. Because these MR, the RNSA and RNST1 cleave the single strand RNA after, <coughs> after guanosine staging and or origin. And consequently, 32 label poly on, 32 label poly A only exist. And final products are separated by electrophoresis and detected by autoradiography. As you can see, poly tails are largely include elongated in the absence of C03, C01. And this shows the result of quantification analysis, as you can see in C03, C03 in the absence of C01, poly lengths are being elongated. Okay, we found that all adult liver specific C01 knockout mice developed severe hepatitis, and consequently these mice die within three within three weeks after tamoxifen injection. Okay. We examined the mRNA expression and found that many mRNA, such as those encoding transcription factor, cell cycle regulator, uh, specifically increase, while mRNAs encoding liver function related protein decrease. These appear to be relevant to hepatitis de de development. Therefore, as you can see, so he, I summarize again. In the process of liver development, or to maintain liver homeostasis, hemostasis, TCR4 may not complex mediated mRNA decay uh, largely play a critical role, and they will remove early liver specific, early immature liver specific mRNAs or unnecessary mRNA, and Removal of these mRNAs are critical, and uh, our results suggest it. <coughs> okay, we, um, we also briefly explain, um, in, except for liver, we, we also suppress the component of the C-Sarnot complex. Uh, for example, in adipose tissue or pancreatic beta cells, when we suppress uh, the c charonot complex, specifically in adipose tissues, uh, adipose tissues are obviously small, like here. And furthermore, and the, the mice uh, lacking c charonot complex in adipose tissues, serum insulin or triglycerides or fasting blood glucose significantly increase in the absence of c charonot complex. And the lower graph shows the result of glucose tolerance test or insulin tolerance test. In wild type mice, blood glucose rapidly decreases after inter IP injection of glucose or in insulin. However, blood glucose did not decrease efficiently in sinusoidal knockout adipose tissue in both cases. This result suggests that abnormal glucose metabolism and the mice also show insulin resistance. These, these abnormality, uh, these, uh, these are obvious symptoms of diabetes. Therefore, histo <coughs> Therefore these results suggest that con um, together with the histological disobservation, these mice should develop lipodystrophy. Okay, and when we suppress expression of the c complex in public beta cells, Maturation of pancreatic beta cells were insufficient and consequently these mice develop di or diabetes again. Therefore, not in almost all tissues, in mammalian tissues, the c complex dependent mRNA decay have, shall have critical role. 
to maintain tissue development and homeostasis. Okay, I'm, I'd like to thank all the collaborators here. Thank you very much for your attention.